Welcome back, gang. It's Deltia from Deltia'sGaming.com, and this is a typical day with me, Deltia. In this video, we're going to show you what an average day looks like in content creation world, how I maintain health and fitness, and overall, the effort it takes to get the most out of each and every day. You see, when I returned to content creation in 2021, I wanted to treat this like a career. No, actually treat it like a calling, like I was meant to do this, as previously, I treated it like a hobby. I'm on a mission again, and the competition is myself. How can I be the best father? How can I push myself in the exercise to forge that mental toughness? And how can I continue to make the best content possible? Find out this and more with the next Gamer to Gym Rat, a day with Deltia. Good morning, day with Deltia time. It's about 4.30 in the morning. Look what time it is. 4.30. Depending on what clock you look at. We're gonna get our day started with a little eaty eaty, a little food, feed my dogs, and then start working on reading comments, replying to folks, just having a good old day. So today I'm gonna show you exactly what I do every single day, kind of my routine and what it takes to do this content creation, stay healthy, stay fit, and just have a great day, getting the most you can out of every single day. That's what's gonna give us results day in, day out. So let's get started. There it goes. And we got my two friends. Here's Lucy. Lucy, say hi. She's the good one. Jeffy, he's the naughty one. Come say hi. Come say hi. All right, they got their food. They're ready to go. I have to feed them away from each other so they don't get mad. All right, so dogs fed. Now me and Sheppy are gonna cook some breakfast. Let's see what we got in here. So let's grab one tray of this on the left-hand side. And this is kind of my meals for the day. I kind of line them up. In one little row more on that later. Grab some eggs. Then we have these oatmeal already prepared. So what this is is 80 grams of quick oats and 70 grams of frozen fruit. So that's kind of what I eat before I get started, before my bike ride, and I eat pretty much the same thing afterwards. So I eat the same two meals and I eat two eggs. So this is basically the meal. Let's eat it up, get the egg going, and get a good breakfast. Eggs are done, little salt. Little pepper. Okay, now what we do with the oatmeal, about a half a scoop of protein in here. I take good old McCormick's cinnamon, and then one artificial sweetener, since this is not flavored at all. Oatmeal done, eggs done, water done, ready to go. All right, just got done with breakfast, but we're gonna do something else. We're gonna go for a walk. So I'm kind of dragging butt here, still tired, just ate, and usually about a 10, 15 minute walk just around the neighborhood. Get me ready for the day, get me fired up listening to some music, and get me in the right frame of mind. Just to keep on working. So it's cold out, it's dark, I don't wanna do this, but we're gonna do it anyways. All right, let's go. All right, cooking breakfast number two, about 8.30 in the morning, and you're probably wondering, Delta, you literally eat the same stuff over and over? The answer is yes, because it gives me really good results. I guess I like what it tastes, but even if I didn't, doing the same thing repetitively, if it gets you to your destination, is well worth it. So I've tracked and I've weighed all this food over and over and over, so I know exactly when I'm getting calorie-wise. Plus, it's dirt cheap, eggs cheap. Oatmeal, unflavored, very, very cheap. Frozen berries, very cheap. So this eating over and over is extremely cheap. You have to balance kind of your life situation with, do I have time to have a big old kitchen and eat like I do? Or if you don't, you adapt it, put a little protein powder, maybe some other healthy fat in it, and it's mobile so you can hit your meals. If you don't hit your meals, what happens is this, you overeat. Trust me, I know this. Everyone slips up, everyone screws up, especially when it comes to food. But taking the time to prepare those meals, having a really good productive week and a productive day. You stack those productive days on top of each other, it leads to a good week, a good month, and progression. 
All right, breakfast is done. Now, what we're gonna do is read YouTube comments, respond to people. So we just moved to this house probably about a year ago. It's a new house. We have an unfinished basement. Let me show you. And the next step is to finish a basement, actually have a soundproofing room with an actual studio in it. So I can do this a little bit more professionally. So it's a bit rough down here. Let's go show you what this looks like. So we come down the stairs here. This will essentially be where I put my new studio. As you can see, we have about 30,000 monster trucks in a play area from my son. So this is the area right here that we're going to build in. I have a little bit of gym equipment right here that I snagged up during the uh, beginning of the pandemic. So I got dumbbells, weights, squat rack, treadmill, little scale, ab roller. And we'll come over here. And this right here is where I have my little studio come around the corner and this is where my area and my setup is so here's my pc with a power battery backup i got three monitors gamer chair mic and link in the description below if you want to see what this actual equipment is and then a green screen so this is kind of how i have it all set up with two lights so when i come down here typically what i do is i read uh, youtube comments respond to emails check twitter do all the social media things i get about anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour before my son gets up. So this is kind of my morning routine. I check it usually two to three times a day, with this being the first thing, especially Discord, respond to anything and try to get ready for the stream, prep for that. Okay, so part of the daily routine is to go through here and check out YouTube comments. The premise here is we want to be helpful so people can keep coming back. We're gonna give them links, respond, and really ignore the hater comments, and I'll kind of find one for you and kind of go through my thought process and when you receive those. If you're in the content creation world, you're gonna get negative comments. So you gotta basically be able to deal with it mentally and move on and press through them. So people ask a lot of questions that are repetitive. In the content creation world, they may miss it in your written guide, they may miss it somewhere else. So you can't let that get to you, you just have to basically answer the questions and you're gonna get the same questions over and over and over, but you wanna be helpful, that's the premise here, helpful, helpful 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 so they keep coming back to your channel and feel like when you ask you a question you get an answer to them So I just read through about 15 minutes of comment answering some, and I've got some nasty ones. One specifically had too many swear words to actually show y'all. And I usually don't remove those nasty ones because it really doesn't bother me. So the thing about this is if you put yourself out there on YouTube, you're going to get crap. You just have to deal with it. In fact, the more crap you get, the more likely you are you're doing successful things. I'm on a mission in my life. My time is valuable to me. You do not get my time unless I have to give it to you or I'm interested in you so if someone's coming to your channel your twitch your youtube your website and they're trying to flame you and say how bad you are your builds suck you're stupid they per pick on your personal appearance or whatever you actually need to take that as a compliment that they're taking their time and energy the one thing you have in your life you can always get more money you can always get this and that you cannot get more time and they're giving it to you that's when you know you're having an impact and you're having an influence okay i got the comments done responded to messages in discord got my twitter rocking and rolling so the next phase in the day for me is to go do my bike ride and that's what keeps me happy and healthy so i'm gonna show you that bike ride time now what is a bike ride for what's the purpose of me riding this bike yes it's to burn calories yes it's to exercise yes it's for all those positive effects but most importantly the bike ride or this form of exercise is about this, building mental toughness, mental resilience. We're gonna go really hard today. So what's gonna happen when you go really hard and you really push it, your brain, your inner dialogue is gonna tell you to quit, 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 quit. When the going gets tough, you want to quit. Your body, your mind wants to stay the same. It does not want to adapt. It does not want to change. We're gonna force it to change. We're gonna force it to get better. And when that inner dialogue starts screaming to quit, we're just gonna throttle down and keep on going. The more you do this, the more resilience you have, the more it permeates different aspects of your life. Job, relationship, hobbies, whatever it is. If you accomplish anything, you're gonna have that little inner dialogue that tells you quit, 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 quit. We're not quitting today. We're going all the way, digging deep, get a bucket, we might puke, but we're gonna try our best and see how far we can go. Maybe we set a record, let's get it going. Halfway through, wanna quit. All I'm gonna do is quit. We're gonna dig deep. Last halfway, how bad do you want it? 
I want it real bad. Here we go. Workout details, D to the G. 712 out of 42,000. 22 miles, 1,100 calories. Now, I didn't get this uh, day one overnight. Been riding since March, having a plan, sticking to it. Whether I feel like doing it or not, one pedal in front of the other, one foot in front of the other, and you can make big progress if you keep doing it. Mental toughness, resilience, you can get it a lot of different places. Exercise is one hell of a way to do it. All right, bike ride is done. We are back ready to stream. I'm not winging my streams. And what I mean by winging it is I'm prepared. So I spend time ahead of time getting my characters ready, getting the content ready that I'm gonna be streaming, working with my mods, letting them know the game plan of the day, the timeline I'm trying to stream. So I start at 10 a.m. Eastern and I go by feel. Typically I aim for five hours. So when I'm not streaming, I actually don't play games a whole lot. I'm writing scripts, I'm editing videos, I'm networking with other folks, trying to have business deals. I'm spending time with my family. I go walk in nature in the forest or do whatever. So I get away from games. That way when I come back to the gaming, it's exciting, it's fun. So you have this kind of checklist of things that I do before a stream. So what I'm gonna do is get OBS up. So I got OBS Studios up and this is what I use for broadcast software. It's, it's kind of the meta what everyone uses. A couple other things that I get prepared. So I have a stream deck. This is for like funny sounds, like we have a war horn effect here. So if some, someone subscribes or some funny clip happened or something, we, we fire off that war horn. I got a whole bunch of them. I actually use OBS and use a stream buffer for clips. And so what I do is if something really cool happens, I record separately on that stream buffer. I hit F6 on my keyboard and it records the last minute with really high quality. So that's what I use for YouTube shorts or Instagram. I have uh, over here is my Spotify. I actually use stream beats, a variety of different playlists. A Harris Heller created this. So it's really nice to be able to stream this and have really high quality music I'm not gonna get flagged on my YouTube videos when I'm done with streaming typically what I do is I upload the videos on demand and put them on another YouTube channel in case someone wants to watch them and they don't want to come to twitch when I get done streaming here I have this five six hour footage in here that I can edit if there's a YouTube short I want to make or some content I want to clip up for like a build video when I capture the footage or I upload the whole video on demand to a separate YouTube channel also I have go XLR this is another thing that was really complex to set up but the audio it just sounds crisp and smooth and then we got a couple of browser things that we like to pull up so alert box here with stream labs this allows you to do timers commands quotes various things and this is kind of sets up your your specific thing for the day so specific gear i'm gonna wear specific builds i'm gonna have giveaway codes i'll come in here and edit the commands and edit the timers that way if it's something repetitive that i need to get out i don't have to sit and answer the same question nightbot here so typically what i do is pull this up and we use a keyword random number I mean, you can kind of control who's eligible and turn on extra luck for your subscribers so we do gold giveaways or t-shirt giveaways crown giveaways just an incentive for people to continue to watch and subscribe and support me and i'm logging into the game here and the last little bit of prep that i do taking up the last bit of time is typically i work with my mods to see who's going to lead mod and who's going to kind of help with the giveaways and the commands and i make sure my characters are squared away when i start this stream i want it to be high intensity we know exactly what we're doing. I currently stream about three days a week, one extra day on the weekends, making that four on Saturday. And then those are the stream days that I kind of set up my entire day around what I'm going to do for this. So exercise feeds into that, getting me motivated, high energy, prepping for the stream. And usually I listen to a song right before I go live, some inspirational thing or something that pumps me up, ready to go. But when I hit go live, I'm in the best mood. I'm ready to rock and roll. So we're going to go ahead and stream, usually for about five hours. And then we're going to do what we do after stream it's not going as fast as i thought because if we look at the uh dlc dungeon here the things we're missing are all weapons right so every run yep. we, we essentially get a weapon or a jewelry piece at the very last boss well yeah that's great but kinra's getting the flame staff i'm gonna get a bunch of true sworn crap or drake's rush crap before i even get close to getting the kinra's most likely because the loot table's so big it's interesting. It's not going nearly as fast as I thought it would go. All right, post stream, we're done. I'm exhausted. We got our props here. So I got the People's Champs belt. I got uh, a headband when it gets real sweaty. So if we're doing sweaty PVP, we put the headband on and uh, go full sweat, Lord. And then I may have grabbed this for my son's Halloween present, a uh, whistle train. So if we got any hype train, some big moments, some big plays. 
we got a train there. <laughs> and it's silly fun stuff like this that makes it go a lot better. So this is my process streaming. So November 1st was the last stream. 78 gigabytes. That's about six hours of footage and playing the Deadlands and basically farming a bunch of gear sets. So here's all the footage and kind of my process when I condense it down for a build video. Usually I play about three hours for one topic. And what I'll do is I'll condense that three hours. I'll trim that up. And then I'll do another trim where I'll cut out the intros, the dead points, the uh, breaks, the giveaways. And so then I'll have a good chunk of footage. And then I look for the top clips out of those footage and condense it down further, maybe 20 minutes. And that can kind of give you a build video for the footage that you'll need if you're going to make something. And then I talked about it earlier, but these little ones here are good funny clips of something that happened during the, the stream. And I have that separate stream buffer running. I hit the F6 key on my keypad. And it'll save the past one minute, really high def, high quality. So that way, when I get done streaming, you're not done. You're not just off and doing your own thing. You're spending another two hours or so before my son gets home. And what I'm doing is editing this, uploading the video on demand, finding the clips, making short one minute YouTube shorts and Instagram videos. And that's usually what I spend my last two hours doing before the work days kind of finish. So before I spend about two hours sitting here banging out, usually what I do is I haven't ate in probably about five or six hours. So I go eat a meal and then I'll show you what that looks like. And then I'll go for a walk typically. Another important part of my day that I do is modeling. So I look to people outside of gaming for influence and guidance and kind of different broadcasts. We talked about sports radio. So usually what I do is listen to a sports broadcaster that's been doing it for 30 years plus. What are they doing? How do they tell stories? How do they deliver their messages? And how do they give really strong controversial opinions and stick by them? Regardless if they're right or wrong, how do they actually give that information to people? And I actually try to model myself around different broadcasters that I listen to. So I consider that my research time putting some headphones going for a walk and listening to them and thinking about not only the information the entertainment aspect how do they deliver the information so i can do that in my own specific way oh stream food time but first we have to play with sheppy go sheppy <laughs> come here bring her drop it drop and this is a little game we play go 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 All right, it's lunch time. What do we got today? So for lunch, I eat this or an iteration of this pretty much three times a day. Ground beef, so you can have whatever type of meat you want. Chicken tenderloin, ground beef, pork tenderloin. I have mixed vegetables, frozen, and then I have rice. Use about a half cup of brown rice, a cup, of vegetables and that's usually the meal it's usually about two or three o'clock i'm done streaming have this in the evening i'll have another meal and if i'm really hungry i'll have another meal so again consistency doing the same things repeatedly even eating this over and over and over i don't eat every day sometimes i go out to eat go hang out with friends but if i do it consistently over and over and over it'll give me the same results so i'm just gonna sit down enjoy my meal and we'll get to it it's walkie walk time look at this not a cloud in the sky so usually i go for a walk after i eat for about 10 to 15 minutes so it helps with digestion helps clear my mind too after a long day of streaming sitting on the computer editing talking to people loud music it's a lot of sensory overload so coming out here just walking for 10 15 minutes clears my mind gets me real refocused and then usually on off days i try to do exactly that go for about an hour somewhere else in nature walking around a lake going for a bike ride outside doing something offline so that way i don't just get in the mix and constantly burn out of being online my whole entire life if you got anything from this whole video it's trying to balance it all i'll spend around a couple more hours working and then i'll hang out with my family Speaking of hanging out with my family, I'm not going to show you that. So usually I take about 5 o'clock at night until 7, Monday through Friday, and we have family time. Cooking meals, watching kids' shows, wrestling, farting around, doing the normal stuff. And then on the weekends, I really dedicate a lot more time to that. We always go to a museum, the zoo, some family event, monster trucks, whatever it might be. And really embrace that, and that's my primary focus on the weekend. So I figure if I work really hard during the week... I can put my foot off the gas a little bit on the weekend and reprioritize my family. So I'm gonna finish up this walk and get back to it. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty tired. This is about a close of the day, about nine o'clock p.m. And now it's time to wind down, 
relax and go to bed and start all over again. I want to say thanks for watching this, honestly. I mean, Gamer and Gym Rat bringing it back and also coming back on YouTube and Twitch and everything. It was a big gamble, but a big success. I'm never going to take for granted how good I have it, how much of an audience I have, how much of an impact I have. And doing these videos, it means something to me and other people. And so I'm just gonna keep it taken to the next step, trying to progress just like I would my character, just like I am going to my life, my career, getting the most out of I can each and every single day. And if you can stack days like this on top of each other that lead to weeks, that lead to months of progression, how far can we take it? You know, last time I left, I treated it like a hobby, no longer this time. And trying to balance all aspects, hanging out with the family, continuing to exercise and push that and compete against myself. And then also do the best I can for content creation. That fire is lit, but it got to remain that way. Finding new and novel things to come up with and do that push the boundaries of what I think I'm capable of. So at the end of the day, that's all you can do is what you, you're best at. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Be the best I can be, push it to my capabilities and beyond and get the most out of every day. I want to look back on my life when I'm on my deathbed saying I gave it everything. I don't wanna have any regrets. And I came back here to YouTube and Twitch to say, I got one more shot. Could I really do it? Can I make this? the best possible life I can for myself and my family and my future. And being a content creator, feeling that creative spark, it doesn't matter what it is. Maybe you can sing, maybe you can dance, maybe you can write, maybe you can do whatever. Me, I can just teach and get excited about video games. I don't know why, that's my gift. So. This is what it looks like every day. There is no Lambo, Lamborghinis, life in the fast lane, nothing like that, but it's a lot of fun. It's great. You're your own boss and the future is just what you make of it. So I do appreciate you watching and give me another chance here on YouTube. And we'll keep on doing different gamer gym rats. So leave a comment below what you would like to see, what topics you would like to see, and I'll see if I can make it happen. Thanks.